Today we're going to be testing the Bluetooth range on the x links Bluetooth cell phone to landline adapter. The reason for this test is because I want to mount this adapter downstairs here or somewhere in the house and set up the same configuration that I had at the old location with the PBX where I have both my magic jack and this Bluetooth cell phone adapter fed into the PBX such that I can make and receive calls using my home telephones on the magic jack as I normally would plus if a call would come in on my cell phone then it would also ring through on the home phone as well uh, through through this and the programming on the PBX you have to excuse the shadowy lighting in here I, I unintentionally broke the second light that I have down here a couple days ago and so now I only have one light fixture anyways um, so there's the dual is dual purpose because there's two two things I solve with this PBX number one is the magic jack for whatever stupid reason and this goes back to the day of the device's conception it does not compensate for the time changes and I used to think that it didn't compensate for daylight savings but now it's an hour behind and we're back to whatever the heck it's called I think Eastern Standard Time or whatever it is and so now it seems like it's stuck in daylight savings time so I don't know whatever in in other words it's just it's an hour off and it's annoying because I look at the clock on the phones and it's wrong and because nobody records a message anymore I rely on the caller ID log to find out if somebody called and then it's like oh I got a call in the future that's kind of confusing so that needs to get corrected and, and having the PBX in between the telephones and the magic jack fixes that problem because I can set the time on the PBX manually and it will override the time that comes in through the magic jack and place its own time on the caller ID stamp so it solves that problem and then it solves the problem of my cell phone I'm not a big cell phone talker in fact I really don't like cell phones I find them kind of annoying so when I'm home I don't keep my cell phone with me and consequently I miss almost every call that comes in on this phone I came home, I've only been home a few hours and I just grabbed the cell phone to do this video and I noticed that three calls have been missed now chances are they're all garbage uh, yep I don't recognize a single one of those numbers they were probably all scam calls but on very rare occasion I do get an actual call on the cell phone and if I'm home I usually miss it so if I have this Bluetooth adapter I can use the programming in the PBX to feed the calls that come in through this adapter to the rest of the home phones and so it it doesn't matter if I keep the cell phone with me or not because I'll hear the home phones ringing so in short what I need to do is I need to install this thing somewhere in the house and ideally I'd like to just mount it down here in the network rack you know maybe uh, like right here for instance and uh, see how this covers the house because the cell phone a lot of times I just leave it in the car which would be the wall over which is the garage uh, or I usually keep it I'll charge it up in the kitchen so it's usually in the garage or in the kitchen so I want to see if I set this up down here I'll just throw it right there for now will this give me enough range to mount it down here and Put the cell phone in various places in the house and it still get a reception if it doesn't the other option is I just take a phone line and run it up to this and mount this somewhere upstairs or wherever it is that it needs to be to to get a good reception so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just for the time being take the uh, this this always gets stuck The, uh, I'm going to take the cord out of my magic jack and I'm just going to stick this cord into the, the Bluetooth adapter because this, this runs to all the telephones in the house and uh, this is wall mountable natively although it's kind of dumb because that would cause you to mount it like this where it really should not like this but that's neither here nor there 
Um, so I'll just stick this into all the all the phones and that's not exactly the way that it would sit but it's you know kind of this box is eventually going to go away I'm going to replace it with a, a rack mount piece of equipment uh, it looks like it's already paired up which is kind of cool uh, let's see here Yep, there it is. It's paired up and it's active, so we should be able to go ahead and make a call now using the home phone, and it should go through the cell phone. Perfect. Hello, Farmer Jones! Here with a... So now what we can do is I can take these two telephones which is kind of counterintuitive but I can take these phones and roam around the house to different areas where I might put my cell phone down and we'll be able to see what the reception is well that's not working very well at all I guess there must be feedback when they're too too much signal. The Bluetooth signal is very weak. All right. Reservations are not necessary. Now, the harvest your own and fresh cut trees begin the weekend of November the 8th. So it's just for curiosity. We'll go across the room here. Thanksgiving through Christmas Eve. I'll put this down. Uh, uh, a digital corruption right there. So... The range is not very far. Only, I mean, that was only right. It's right there, and then I was over there. Now, granted, there's a lot of stuff in between here, but still, it's, it's not very far. Quality tree you deserve, and you could help. Be flexible with the time and day of your visit. We can You must make a reservation. Consider off-peak times. It's a little sketchy here, but it is working. And the fields have a special beauty uh, and peacefulness early in the morning. And with days, I'll an option. You'll save money. No reservations needed. So it doesn't really work in here. So the reservation portal is now open. Look to our website for details. Simply Jones Family Farms. It's working here in the kitchen. And you'll learn about the uh, three areas of the farm, the Mary Berry Valley, Candy Cane Hill, and Barnyard Village. Reservations are simple to make. Which it should because the transmitter is, is uh, it's right around here, right on the, on the floor here. So into the kitchen is a pretty short distance. Bring along a tarp and you can easily slide your very own tree through the field. Best way to reach us if you have further questions is email farmer at joneswamilyfarms.com. Please give us up to 24 hours to respond, or if you need to reach the farm office, uh, call 203 929 6237. Leave a clear message. Please stay well, keep in touch. It's our 76th year. And Alright, so it's a little flaky in here, but it kind of works. Let me go ahead and call again, because we're going to need a second uh, call here. We're running out of time. Now we'll go into the garage and see what happens in the garage. Okay, so it doesn't get any signal on the deck. Wow. I'm going to turn the lights on so you can actually see what's transpiring. 
every day except Thanksgiving and Christmas Eve. We work uh, long hours and have a beautiful crop. So that's not really working. Let me see if I can move it around a little bit to get a better signal, because I really would like it to work from within the car. So it seems to like to sit flat better. It's a little flaky, but it kind of works. The apple supply is excellent. We're picking the cow in. Very delicious. And delicious. Oh, shoot. I think that caused something. Seems to get a better signal from the back. This is where I usually put it. It's a little dialogue. Well, it kind of works. Okay, so the range on this is pretty limited. That really isn't even going much more than about 25 feet. 
before it gets flaky. So, hmm, I think for now, since this the clock situation is really starting to annoy me, I think I'm just going to set it up and use it like this. Most of the time I bring the cell phone, at least it makes it into the house. So, if it works with the phone in the kitchen, I'll be content with that for now, and then maybe at some point later on, I can move it. Even if I just moved it over, like, to here or something, somewhere a little bit further over, that might be enough to make it work in the car, but we'll do this for now. I'll mount it here. It seemed to like being horizontal a little better. I don't know. I think we'll just stick it like somewhere right around there. And uh, that'll work for now. I am a little disappointed in the range though. I think the south of jack, which is what I used to use before I got this, although the audio quality is not quite as good, I think the range of the south of jack was significantly better.